some options here tonight. What was your favorite of the three that you scored? <laughs> uh, favorite. I, a shorthand is pretty cool. I think mm. that was probably my favorite. So. Mike Amadio liked it, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just have it feel, did you just feel it here tonight? Yeah, I think it was just one of those games the puck was kind of finding me. And, um, yeah, you just have those once in a while. So uh, wish it was in the regular season, but hopefully I could build off of it and I'll bring it into the regular season. Were you hoping for penalty shot, empty net just to complete? No, I was good. I was I was good tell my night. So, but uh, just glad we got the win there at the end. Do you remember the last time you had a hat trick? Uh, Ian, our uh, media guy, actually just updated me on that. Um, it was in high school, so it's been a while. So it's nice to get one, but hopefully I can win the regular season here this year. Were there hats that came down that night? No, there was no one in the crowd. So, so no. <laughs> <laughs> nice way to end uh, training camp. Yeah, yeah, it's been, I think, um, as the training camp went on, I think the team kind of built, and I think we're, we're in a good spot. we got to have a few good practices and then just be ready for Thursday. It's go time now, so exciting. Are you glad camp's over with? Uh, I mean, I want to say I'm glad. I'm just happy that the regular season's starting, I think. Um, you know, it's a bit of a grind there the first week, but um, as it kind of kept going, uh, you know, it got better and better. But, um, yeah, we're just glad that regular season hockey's here, so we're excited. How much learning, I guess, would you say has gone on the last couple weeks? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, you know, just, I don't think it was too hard to kind of grasp the systems. I think Greener did a good job of kind of teaching us, but, um, you know, you got to go through game situations to kind of learn them, and um, each game, I think we felt better and better, so, um, I, yeah, I think we're in a good spot, though, as a team, I think. But we got to stay focused and dialed and uh, just be ready for Thursday. So much was made of Travis Green's training camps kind of thing. Was it than you expected? Was it what you expected? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think as a player, you're just kind of, I don't I don't think you want to think about it too much. You're just trying to get yourself ready for the season. Um, you know, obviously, uh, every training camp is going to be hard no matter what. But, you know, I think we do a good job in the summer of staying in shape here. And, you know, all the guys work super hard. So um, I thought we were, at a, we were in a good spot coming in. So, um, but I would say it was still hard. What kind of an impact have some of the new players that have come in just had on the feeling in this locker room? Yeah, yeah, I think I said in the beginning, I think bringing in Ollie, you know, um, Gregor, Mods, obviously Perron, Jensen, I think they just bring a quiet confidence into our uh, room. And, um, you know, they're older guys, they've been around, they've been around winning. So I think it just, you know, kind of, I think Steve did a great job of bringing, you know, veteran leadership around us. And, um, you know, I think I have a good feeling about this year. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, I think we just got to stay focused and dialed in. I think, you know, I think, you know, Monday's practice, you got to have to realize that it's important and you got to stay, you know, kind of dialed in. So, um, you know, I think that should be immature and just being ready for Monday. So just have good three practices and then be ready to go for Thursday. Can you think about identity for this team moving forward this season? What do you think you guys want to, to be known as? Um, Obviously hard to play against. I think Green has really emphasized that. I think if you want to win, in this league, it can't be all skill and running gun. I think you got to play good defensively, be good, good in your D zone, and be hard to play against. And I think we've harped on that. And I think you know, as the preseason went on, we did a better job each game. So, yeah, just it being hard to play against. You know, hopefully, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully we could bring that for Thursday. Given the hat trick, the mustache stays longer. Yep, <laughs> one more game. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, it's staying for now. <laughs> Are you glad it's over with now? And was this a good tune-up game to head into regular season play? Uh, absolutely. I thought I, uh, I really liked our game there, um, and we're excited to get going here with the regular season. How did it feel to play over 22 minutes tonight? Uh, yeah, I think that was the first time I played over 20 minutes, so uh, it was a lot of work, but uh, it was nice to get the win. What about playing on the power play? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, with a few guys out of the lineup tonight, I was able to, to get an opportunity there, and uh, I thought we looked good out there. How much do you feel with the new as one of the new guys coming in? Do you feel settled to get into the regular season at this point? Uh, absolutely, yeah. I think uh, I knew a few guys from last time I was here, but um, yeah, fitting in well. All the guys are uh, very nice, so uh, it was an easy transition. Obviously, Travis comes in with a new system for everybody, but do you feel that there was enough done through camp for you guys to really kind of get what he wants from you? Um, I think so. I think uh, the biggest thing for us was just kind of taking it day by day and kind of piecing it together, and I think uh, after the preseason, uh, I think we like what we saw, so we're all uh, ready to get going. You and Shane had a good night together. Just what worked tonight for you two? Um, yeah, we've been playing a few games together and practicing together, so just kind of figuring out the chemistry, and uh, it was clicking tonight. Identity is something you guys build as the season goes on, but how would you describe it right now in 
Uh, yeah, we want to be a hard team to play against, obviously, and defending well. So I think uh, we did a good job of that tonight, and uh, obviously capitalizing when we can. And uh, it was a good win for us. What have you learned about Shane as you've gotten to know him? I guess a player and a, and a guy too. Uh, yeah, you can see how skilled he is out there, and then how hard he works. Uh, you can see it on the PK, the power play. You know, he never gives up on pucks, so uh, it's fun to play with. Did you have a favorite of his goals tonight? Uh, maybe the PK one where he did it all himself. That was a nice one. <laughs> Clean us good tune-up uh, heading into regular season play next week. Say Is, what? Was this game a good tune-up oh. as you head into regular season play? Yeah, it's always nice f finding a way to win. You know, I thought, thought that we played a little bit better this time around than we did uh, against them away. Uh, more of a you know, team game. We did what we said we were supposed to do. Uh, obviously, there's some tough breaks, but Pines uh, was uh, legit today, so he could have won this by himself almost. You glad the preseason's over? Yeah, I am. Um, it's been a it's been a weird one. It's been very scrappy, a lot of fights, a lot of stuff that you don't normally see, which is also good for once because it kind of gets you prepared. Like there's no um, no soft plays to be made because then you're gonna be run over. So it has been a change of pace certainly, but uh, you know what? Playing seven uh, preseason games, I'd rather just you know get it over with and, and start the regular season. Do you hit a point of camp where? You feel like you've accomplished everything you can and it's time to move on? I don't know what you're talking about. We haven't even started the first game of the season. We haven't accomplished anything. Nobody in camp, I mean. No, nothing. It doesn't really matter what we do in preseason. We don't get two points out of this victory. It's nice to win, but it's a step in the right direction. But ultimately, it's all about the regular season that gets you into the playoffs. Do you have any theories as to why this preseason was so unique, as you say, for just the edge and different things that went on? I mean, there's been less respect out there. You no, know, people have thrown out some stupid stuff, and then the other team has to respond, and then it just keeps going, and it's just an evil circle, basically. And sometimes it's just unfortunate stuff that happens, bad timings or whatever. But you know, I don't want us to back down or something like that. That's not our our game. You know, we stick up for each other, and uh, that's it. Coach, did this uh, game leave you with some strong impressions moving forward uh, into the regular season? <clears throat> I'm not sure about strong impressions, but it was uh, another step in the right direction for sure. What did you like most about tonight's game? Well, I like that we won. That's the most. I uh, like that we got the lead. I, didn't think, I thought the first period uh, was a little choppy. I liked our second period. Uh, third period, we probably sat back a little more than I'd, I'd like. But it was overall a pretty good game. Despite the fact that the record for the preseason doesn't count, what does it do for the team's confidence going into the regular season with a bunch of wins in the preseason? Uh, yeah, first of all, it doesn't count. So uh, whether you go one and five, five or five and one, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But it, I think uh, just for a new staff, new team, a lot of new players. Uh, that the winning feeling helps as far as you know your team game teaching moments uh, belief but uh, you know at the end of the day it all starts for real this week how do you maybe feel about your team like at the end of preseason are they kind of where you want them to be obviously it's, it's preseason and it's about to start but where do you feel your team's at yeah i feel like we're in a good spot yeah how much can you learn about last two and a half weeks? Well, I think, I don't know about, uh, I'm just learning about the group in general uh, and doing a lot of teaching as we go. Uh, you know, they've been, everyone's been very receptive to what we're trying to do. But uh, again, you know, it starts for real this week. It's what been a good think? camp though, like I will say that. It's been a good camp. What did you think <laughs> of the Cousins got at McEwen line tonight? Yeah, liked it. Uh, I liked everyone's game tonight. Uh, we had a lot of line combos going over the boards tonight with Highmore leaving. So, uh, but yeah, like you know, obviously Mac answered the bell, had a, had a fight, and uh, played left wing and right wing. You know, we had some guys that played last night as well. You could see that. Uh, you know, that, that's the first time that guys have played back to back games uh, after a hard camp. So. 
going to have to make some decisions on guys, and you've done that before. But would the message to them be, if they've gotten to this point in camp, Travis, that they're only a phone call away? Yeah, I mean, that's the guys that don't make it, they know they're close. They're knocking on the door. Uh, and we have hard decisions to make in a, the next short period. Did you come into camp with sort of ideas of what you wanted to accomplish for yourself, being that it's your first year with a new group, and do you feel you were able to get what you wanted? I do. I feel good about camp so far. Uh, I think we... You know, we just sent a clear message early in camp as far as what expectations are, what we want to be as a team. Uh, and I do feel that the players have responded in the right way. I don't know how much you knew Shane Pinto before he came in, but what are your thoughts on him now that you've gotten a good look at him here for a couple of weeks? Yeah, I like him. Uh, he's just he's a strong two-way player, uh, plays a good 200-foot game. Still young, uh, which for me is a good thing. He's he's got a he plays a mature game, but he's he's still learning a lot of things. Uh, you know, he hasn't been in the league a long time when it comes to you know when you look around the league as far as veterans in the league, and he's going to be one of those players I foresee as a guy that uh, really understands the game, uh, all areas of the game, and. Uh, I think he can develop into that guy that you can, you know, one of those players that you win with. I think one of the things you <clears throat> want to accomplish in camp is like building some chemistry. Can you see some chemistry maybe growing with him and Amadio? Like, could you see that being a duo that you could? Yeah, there's a reason they've been together a little bit. So, but, uh, you know, th those things can change fast with uh, once the regular season starts. But, and I think we're going to have a group that. You can see a lot of different line combinations uh, at any given time. The message that you give to the group on Monday, knowing regular season is now you know just a few days away, is there something specific or like what's what's kind of the? Uh, you kind of nailed it. We've you know we've had a good camp. Uh, it's been a lot of work, and they've put in work, uh, which. Uh, you know, as a coach, you appreciate, but uh, you know, training camp's over now. We play for real, and and we've got to start to dial in on it in every part of our game. Personally, how did you like your first camp as the Ottawa Senators head coach? I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoy. Uh, I, I mean, I'm the kind of guy that enjoys every day. Uh, when you're in the NHL, it's uh, it's a privilege, and I uh, I approach it that way.